Good morning everyone, I hope you're well. It's currently Tuesday the 8th of September and we are on the road to North Wales. We're actually going to Bala, which is a small town at the bottom of Snowdonia. So that should be really fun. We are meeting up with my parents who are also going and my brother and his girlfriend. We're all camping there, so yeah, we should have a really nice week. It's a bit gloomy and it's gonna rain, but you know, we'll, we'll make the best of it. We're actually driving up the coast and we're gonna pop past Aberwith, Aberwithwith, Aberwithwith, Aberwithwith. That place. See you in a bit. Bye. The cold night takes us Me. to a place to escape the chill. Somewhere in the woods on a hill Wake up feeling the cold in between You'd imagine she hasn't seen him in ages <laughs> He literally saw him this morning And we leave it so we just woken up and it's now Wednesday morning. Last night I slept really well except the outer and the inner touched so we got a bit of a puddle of water. But apart from that, great night's sleep. I forgot how much I love camping. A cockerel was going off at 4 30 in the morning though, which was pretty interesting, but yeah, it's not raining, so that's a positive. So Catch you in a bit. Bala is a historic town in Snowdonia National Park in North Wales. It is a wild area of high mountains, deep valleys, forests, fast flowing rivers, waterfalls and many lakes and reservoirs. Conveniently, the Bala Lake Railway was next to our campsite, so we hopped aboard the Maid Marion steam train into town. This train was built in 1903 and is a beautiful little engine which chugs alongside the lake three times a day. My dad was in his element. She likes to wear such beaut apple clothes but doesn't care for brands. Ah, His pleasure, joy and pride will never cease In her he finds His mom's giving us stones <laughs> Nice Hello, so we got back from Bala town like an hour or so ago and it was really nice getting the train back just through the fields and by the lake it was lovely I highly recommend anyone up here to do that train journey my dad was in his element <laughs> so we've just been looking at the waterfall book can you tell me about the book please it's all about where to find um caves they're mainly in the south of scotland and not to um, mint <laughs> and you can drive to all of them which is hidden waterfalls in mid to north wales and we found a waterfall we want to go to tomorrow. We were originally going to hike Snowdonia and then we found another route we were going to do but they were all about six hours and you needed proper scrambling shoes. So we've decided to make a compromise and we're going to do about half of the Watkins Trail which is technically I think one of the, I might be wrong, I think one of the hardest routes to the top of Snowdon but we're going to do just the bottom bit and it actually goes to some beautiful waterfalls and we're going to bring our wetsuits because it's icy water but we're going to go for a swim and I'm really 
really excited about that and we're also going to go to Betsy Cohen and do some of the hidden waterfalls around there so we're going to get up bright and early and have a full full day tomorrow and I'm so excited I've just missed being out in the hills and hiking so much so I'm really excited to bring you along tomorrow for some waterfalls and some hikes <laughs> Sits by the window all day, aging, aging. Whenever he gets home, then she lets him inside. Close the blinds so the neighbors don't see that which they can't. Good morning, everyone. It is now day three of our camping trip. It is Thursday morning and we decided to pack up quite early and head to Betsy Coed to pop to a few outdoorsy shops and then we are going to go west into Snowdonia and head for a place called Watkins Falls apparently it's freezing cold but we don't have wetsuits so we will let you know how just freezing that is but anyway, I will catch you in Betsy Coed The sky falls down, crashes to the ground. I know you will be lying next to me. It's dark and cold Hello, we are at the bottom of the hike and we're about to head up Well, we're meant to find the starting place and then we'll head up and see the hills Look at how beautiful it is This is a really heavy camera so it's really hard to film like this Okay, let's go waterfall behind me but I just can't even describe the feeling of being out here it's what my soul craves the most is just being in the absolute wilderness like cities stress me out and people and cars and the fast motion of life just gets to me all the time and being out here just makes me feel ultimately free and on top of the world definitely a moment of self-care just being out in the wilderness Highly recommend to anyone. When you want more than you have, you think you need. And when you think more than you want, your thoughts begin to bleed. I think I need to find a bigger place. Because when you have more than you think, you need more space. Society, your crazy breeze. I hope you're not lonely without me. Society, crazy and deep. I hope you're not lonely. That was incredible. You don't want to get out.
pack the awning and the rest of the van up in a sec but it was pretty cold to pack up this morning when we woke up at 3 so it's was pack up and got turn away but you know it is what it is and one of the one of the sides of camping so you know it's been a really really good trip so we're gonna go eat some breakfast pack up the rest of this big mobile and then we're gonna hit the road home so catch you in a bit After stopping at the top of a very windy but beautiful Snowdonia pass point, the oldest one in Wales to be specific, we decided to convoy to Nant Lech Waterfall, or so we thought. bit of a fail we've just said bye to everyone but we basically were going to the waterfall but we actually realized that it's just taking us to the Nantelec river and the actual Nantelec waterfall is in Brecon Beacons along with the Hendred Falls I think it's called which is a 90 foot waterfall also in Brecon which is the one we also thought we were coming to here but it just took us to a river so we've stopped and Nick and Matt are just behind but yeah so heading back now see you later I hope you like this one guys if you haven't in a while I encourage you to go to the hills I feel so much more grounded after that trip make sure you click that little like button below and subscribe for more adventures in the near future bye for now